the degree to which there's atheism within the heart of an individual will have an impact upon how they live in terms of their rebellion against God. Even you, even you that profess the name of Jesus Christ will find, you will know, if you know yourself, you will know that your sin often correlates to the sense of denial of God in your life. And I don't mean that you're verbalizing the denial of God. I'm not saying that you deny Him in His person and in His work. I'm saying that as you drift away from a real sense of the presence of the kingly, almighty God over your life, as that begins to fade from your mind, you're more prone to sin. You bring it right down to the very simple illustration of imagining that the things that we do and the things that we say that we know are against God and ask ourselves, would we be so quick to do it that way or think that way or act that way, say those things, if the Lord was right in our presence, if He was right there. It is as you begin to live in such a way as as if the Lord isn't there, <laughs> that you drift into sin. So having a sense of the highest over your life, living in, in the shadow of that, as it were, in the understanding of that, is a really helpful way to live as a believer. 